this is Jeff Hardy's opportunity to both retire Kurt Angle and move on to Battle for Glory. Well, here comes Kurt Angle, a man who was bred to compete in tournaments since he's a young kid as an amateur wrestler has always succeeded in tournaments that big one called the olympics he did pretty good in that one can kurt angle win the semis right here and go on to bound for glory like he predicts and become new champion and now introducing his opponents from pittsburgh pennsylvania weighing in at 236 pounds he is professional wrestling's only olympic gold medalist Taz, in all your years, have you ever seen anyone with the drive, with the determination of Kurt Angle? No, sir. Never have. I'm proud to call Kurt my friend. I know Kurt a long time. Had the opportunity to wrestle with him, travel with him. I respect the hell out of him, as I do Jeff Hardy. But Kurt Angle, he is driven. He is hell-bent on this quest of being champion. If Kurt loses this match, and you pointed out earlier, Mike, if Kurt loses, he's done. He will quit this industry and be done. It could be the end of a, of a legend as we see it right now. We heard Jeff Hardy say he's doing this in honor of RVD. He's going to become a new TNA world champion for his boy RVD. Can Hardy pull it off? Big match atmosphere at no surrender. Crowd realizes what's at stake. If we take a look at ringside, our TNA president, Dixie Carter, and I know that security advised Dixie not to be out here at ringside, but Dixie told us that there was no way that because of the importance of these semifinal matches that she would miss out on this. And then you see, you know, Security watching uh, Dixie's back. We remember what happened with, with Ric Flair and uh, Dixie was ringside. What happened with Serge, Dixie's husband. So it's uh, not a safe environment for the boss, the owner of our company here. But right now, Kurt Angle, this is what you know, this is where he wants to be. This is what I was saying where Jeff doesn't want to be on the mat. He's caught in a front headlock right now with an un with an underhook. But if you're Kurt Angle, this is where you live right now. You keep Hardy on the mat. And this was just as Taz anticipated when he went through the numbers at the tail of the tape and he broke down the potential strategies for both Kurt Angle and Jeff Hardy. We figured that Angle would do his best right off the top to try and ground Hardy and out-wrestle him. Yeah, I respect that. I think that's a little ambitious. I respect it. Jeff Hardy getting a side headlock on Kurt Angle. And look at Hardy. Hanging on right now to that headlock. You gotta be careful, Jeff. You don't get suplexed on the back of your beam right now. Kirk could turn that thing into a side arm bar or whatever he wants if he counters out. Watch out! Fever pitch in the crowd at no surrender. Split as far as backing Angle and Hardy. And I'm just impressed with Jeff Hardy to this point of the match. Well, it's the early goings here. Still kind of, you could say it's a feeling out process of sorts, but Kurt, I'm, you know, I'm surprised he's got the full some punches and connecting. Yeah, strikes in the corner, measures and drives the right hand into the head. Brings Hardy back out to the middle of the ring. Opportunity for Kurt to go suplex, but... Oh, by Hardy, front suplex. Well, that was nice. I mean, splat goes angle. Look at this. That's vintage Jeff Hardy there. As is that. Basement drop kick leads to a pin and a cover and a two count. Look at that intensity right there. Don't, I mean, don't, don't go full ball right there, Jeff. You can end up going a while here with Kurt Angle. And that guy's a machine, so. And the machine just caught him coming in. Elbow first. Oh my god, that was nasty. You see that whiplash? The head of Hardy bouncing off the canvas with the oh, impact of the power Listen, <laughs> Mike, I'm sorry to interrupt you. He's out. 
I'll tell you what, that was not your basic household power bomb. That power bomb was delivered with intent to maim and hurt. And we heard Kurt say he's not just gonna beat Hardy, he's gonna hurt him. There's a respect there. Watch Look at this. this. Watch this. Look at this. Split screen. We keep you alive, but you see how impactful the power bomb was by Angle as we come back live, and it's still Kurt in control. Talk about a whiplash, and look at how smart Angle is. Go right to the head. Control the body. You control the head. You know the man's head whiplash. You know it could affect his neck. Kurt knows about neck injuries. So what does Kurt do? Not just a basic reverse chin lock or a rear choke. Look at Kurt's hips. His weight's on top of the back of the head of Jeff Hardy. All part look of that, that wear down that. factor, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, look at how Kurt, he keeps that wide base. He keeps on a knee, keeps his knee close to his opponent. All the weight's on the back of the head and neck of Hardy. It's a wrestling clinic when you watch Kurt Angle. Hardy going to try and mount a comeback and fight out and does. Lights and lefts off the ropes. Kurt stops the offense. Well, both these men are... Whoa, 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 whoa. this. Both these men are former world champions. They've tasted it. That man right there, Kurt Angle, 13-time world champion. So they want to go back to that dance. Look at this. Uh, now a reverse gut wrench. Reverse bear hug, whatever you want to call it, from behind by Angle on Hardy. Sucking the wind in the air right out of his opponent. See, uh, briefly there, Jeff tried to get control of the grip. You want to try and break the man's grip. His hands, his fingers, pull his fingers apart. We've talked about it, Mike. The power and the grip of someone like a Kurt Angle. All those years as an amateur wrestler, and to be a high-level amateur wrestler, you got to have great hand and, and finger strength. Separates him from the pack, and you just watch the ferocity of the offense.